I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you All right you guys I feel like I look homeless but I rushed out of the house early this morning well kind of early because I forgot that it was um Target or I forgot that it was Starbucks Red Cup day and where did I do what did I do with it But um if you got a holiday drink today you got this free um, reusable red cup they have this day every year and actually it's kind of hard to get because they sell out pretty fast so I got the um, holiday red cup at Starbucks today for free with my purchase and I figured I might as well grab some groceries I had a bunch in my cart for delivery but I was out so I thought let me just go and grab some which was a mistake but I thought I would do a little grocery haul with you. Um, I have got to think of some different ideas for dinner. My kids and just everyone is so hard to please. Last night I made some garlic chicken thing and I, I can insert a little clip of it here. I forgot to take a clip of the end result but you can see me putting it together. It was like rice, um, this garlic chicken that I cooked um, on a skillet on the stove which Kind of stressful it just makes so much mess and like fumes coming off i don't like doing that um but anyway rice chicken a gravy and i put some green beans in there um yeah i'm just out of so many ideas i don't eat dairy so a lot of things have like cream of mushroom soup which actually i have cream of mushroom soup in my grocery haul because i am hosting thanksgiving this year and because even though I don't eat dairy, I'm still making all the normal stuff with dairy in it for everyone. And I will probably sneak a little bit of it. But I love this rice. It is um, Four Sisters Organic White Rice. I get it at Kroger. They have brown rice too. I got a ginormous thing of cheese that I cannot have for my Texas potatoes. Um, I make those on all holidays. We don't have mashed potatoes at Thanksgiving. Um, not typically, but everyone loves Texas potatoes. I got these little pizza crusts and some pepperoni because I make myself cheeseless pizzas sometimes for lunch. And I got the sauce at um, Target already because I love their sauce. Got a couple cans of cream of mushroom soup and cream of chicken soup because I'm sure I'm going to need it um, for the holidays. I do know that I need... a. Uh, Hmm. I do know that I need it for my potatoes. And then I got some uh, pudding mixes for some things. We're going to have banana pudding. I got some pudding mixes for my mother-in-law. Um, I love making so many things with cream cheese around the holidays. And I decided to try out before the holidays uh, the Kite Hill cream cheese dairy-free to see if it's any good, so maybe I can make myself a batch of dairy-free treats, um, cause I do love the Kite Hill sour cream, so I make dip with this. But I put ranch dip mix in it, which does have dairy, but it doesn't bother me. Actually, the reason I don't eat dairy, I've probably said this a million times, but just in case you're just tuning in and do not know, is because it gives me cystic acne, and my, I quit dairy two years ago and my face has been clear ever since, but I do have one that just appeared on my face and I'm like, what just happened? Like, where did this come from? And I ate some lasagna. I never make lasagna, but I made some for a special occasion, homemade, uh, a week or two ago. And I ate some because I forgot to make a batch without cheese, which I normally do. Um, but I picked most of the cheese off and I'm wondering, is that from this? Did it take that long? I don't know. 
I got some pasta because I'm gonna make homemade mac and cheese for Thanksgiving and this is the ranch um, seasoning that I use for everything. I put a pack of this and a thing of sour cream and it's the dip. I don't like the kind that says dips on it. I like this kind. Some more pudding mix. Some little grape tomatoes for salads. Got some chicken broth, organic chicken broth, because I'm sure I'll need that. I just ran out last night, so I want to have some on hand. I got some organic broccoli and cauliflower. I will dip that in my dip, along with these mini cucumbers. I put that in dip as well, and salads. I will probably have these eaten today. <laughs> got this strawberry yogurt. My kids and husband like this yogurt. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge. Along with my dip in sour cream, or whatever, I forgot what it's called. So this grocery trip was so chaotic because I literally just went in there for like a couple little things and I'm like, let me pick up some stuff that I know I need for Thanksgiving. So this is like a haphazard trip with just random things. I had no list, just looking at stuff, grabbing it. So these are my favorite, or our whole family's favorite chips, or at least me and my husband's favorite chips, the sweet Southern Heat barbecue chips. Love. And then I just got a bag of pre-made salad mix and we're going to be having um banana pudding strawberry this amazing strawberry cake that i make um i'm not sure what else but i know some of the old school people might like pie and i'm not making a pie so unless someone brings a pie uh, just in case i got a um pumpkin pie that's already made because i don't really i mean my family doesn't eat it and i know my sister and her kids don't eat it so i don't know there might be a couple people who want that um i think i'm gonna make a cheese ball so i got some ritz crackers and look how adorable these are we're already going with the christmas theme i've got my christmas decorations up so i might as well have snowflake ritz crackers limited edition that was my starbucks cup and then I got a big thing of eggs because I'm going to be making deviled eggs. Gotta have deviled eggs. And then this lunch meat is like the only lunch meat that I will eat. And my kids are obsessed with it. It's a little pricey, but it's at Kroger. And it is the buffalo style chicken breast. It is so good. And it's it's like by the deli. That's always on my list whenever I have like a grocery delivery and I always get nervous that they won't be able to find it, so I always have to put in a note because it's not located with the other um, lunch meat. I got a white cake mix because I use um, half of a white cake mix for my strawberry cake. And I have another video, I think, where I made the strawberry cake, so I'll link that if I can find it. And then I got this um, strawberry glaze for my strawberry cake. I got this thing for a pineapple upside down cake. Um, I don't know if I'll make it, but I thought, you know, if I feel like making it, I'll make it at some point. Got two things of the King's Hawaiian rolls. And then I got some like stuff that I just eat every day, a tomato, green onion, green pepper. I put that in my salads, pretty much on everything little bag of these um, petite gold to potatoes. I'm going to put those, um, probably roast those tonight uh, with some green beans and like onions and garlic and butter. And then along with this um, 
Santa Mar Santa Maria recipe beef tri-tip. So it's a beef tri-tip, but it's it's already got like seasoning and everything on it. So I am like, I think this was this was eighteen dollars. I have no clue what to make for dinner anymore. So I'm just like gonna have the beef and some vegetables and stuff and just put it all in the oven. And that'll be our dinner for tonight. Maybe make a salad. And then there's tomorrow. What are we gonna eat tomorrow? That's why I said I bought all this food and we only have one dinner. I got three jars of these pickles because I like pickles on sandwiches or burgers and stuff, but I don't know, I'm really weird about pickles. Um, but these are, I can only find them at Kroger. They're Kroger brand hamburger dill fast food style chips. I placed an order the other day and just put, I thought they were the hamburger. <laughs> this is pertinent information. I thought they were the hamburger dill chips and I got them and they were like big and crinkly and they were just too big for me. These are literally These are literally like what you get at a fast food restaurant. They're just the tiny little thin slivers. So I love these. And I eat them like crazy if I make a sandwich. I'll buy those like spicy chicken patties and I will just put the, um, I don't put sauce on it because they're spicy. I just put uh, lettuce, tomato, onion, and these pickles just loaded up with veggies. And I make those a lot. Got some like individual packs of apple slices. I didn't even inspect them to make sure they were good. But I got those for the kids' lunches. And then I got some ruffles, potato chips and some Tostino's tortilla chips and some salsa. And then I got some Cool Whip. I need that for the strawberry cake as well. So I think that's everything that I got. Wow. So that's what I'm saying. I spent $165 and I mean, I've got some snacks. I've got dinner for tonight. I got a few uh, staples and things that I need for Thanksgiving dinner. I have already got the turkey. Okay, we have a turkey and a ham at Thanksgiving because, well, we mostly all prefer ham, but we have the turkey oh. because it's traditional, so we still have the turkey. So I'm making a turkey and a ham. I'm probably going to smoke the turkey on our Traeger, and I've already got those. And I've already got my potatoes. I make my uh, Texas potatoes out of frozen hash brown potatoes. And I'm gonna make two batches of those. I've already got the potatoes. I got the cheese. I got this. So I still need a few more things. I'm gonna get some like sodas and limes and stuff like that. And a few more things, but yeah. I'll be making another trip to the grocery store in the next few days to get the rest of that stuff. So it never ends. I feel like I spend so much money on food because then, you know, like I said, I don't really have anything. I have some chicken in the fridge or in the freezer I could make a meal with, but then I'm just stuck. Like what, what do I make? Last night I decided I'm, I'm gonna use this chicken. I made this garlic chicken stuff with stuff I already had and it turned out really good. Um, one kid liked it, the other kid ate it and was like, eh. But you know what, you can't please them all. <laughs> I've been a mom for a very long time. You cannot please them all. So I'm going to get this stuff put away and do some cleaning. I figured I would share this with you. I was on my way to our big freezer in the garage to put some of the groceries away. And I was just chatting with my husband on the phone. He's at work. And I said, oh 
my God, what happened down here? And he's like, what? I was like, who blew the candle out? And he's like, huh? And I said, who blew the candle out? And he said, well, I blew it out. And I was like, uh, are you the big bad wolf? Were you trying to blow a house down? What? He's like, what are you talking about? And I sent him the picture of the aftermath. Who blows a candle out this hard? Oh my gosh. This is a hundred year old book. This book has been around for longer than twice our lives. And look what we've done to it. Or he, I should say. My wood beads. Uh, the table, like what? How is this gonna come off? How's this gonna come off my couch? This is an Ikea couch, so I can wash all of this stuff, but will washing this make this come? Oh my God. He's ordering me a new couch cover. Unbelievable. See, it's always something, guys. This is what I'm dealing with today. <laughs> I'm, I'm more concerned about my book. I, I'm, let me see if you can see. I've scratched, if I scratch the wax off, it's still leaving a mark. I honestly just want to cry. I I mean, it's just an old book, but just to think of how long that it's been around and look how thick it is. I love it. Look at the thumb things. I'm really upset about it because I honestly can't bear to look at it if all these spots are on there. It'll just make me sad every time. I'm probably just going to get rid of it. I can be a baby sometimes, but that is, that's, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, all over this guy. Like, he is going to have a hell of a time getting this off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, there's that. What do you think about it, little bear, huh? Is it even, it's probably on this blanket, too. You just can't tell. Yeah. I can feel chunks. <sighs> but it's no fun trying to take the cushions off. <sighs> but yeah, like I said, I wanted to get these washed for the holidays. So I'm going to, especially this chair, this chair is terrible. I cannot get this out. It's been quite a day. I figured I would just take you on this day with me um, kind of vlog style. Just let me know if you like these kinds of videos and I can keep doing like a day in my life type of video. But I'm trying to put out more videos, so. I can't always be doing like a project. Oh, this is making my head itch, but my hair's already flattened and ruined and I just woke up like this. <laughs> I didn't really, I tried to brush my hair and um, I just put this hat on. Cause I was out the door to get my coffee. This morning while I came home, I feel like something happened that, oh, today, <laughs> God love them. My boys' school pictures were not the greatest this year. And it was um, because I always have cut their hair forever. And I decided they're getting older. I want to take them and have their hair cut and kind of try and keep it longer. Well, they got a haircut. They have horrible calyx. Like their hair can either be really, really long or really, really short. Because if it's in between, it just sticks straight up in the front and the back. So they got these haircuts and um i don't know my older boy for his picture they waited till like after lunch and he had on a light colored shirt and i guess it they were playing ball and the he like caught a muddy kickball and he had mud all over his shirt and his hair was like oh my god it was crazy and then, so I'm like, let's just redo the pictures. And that was today. I didn't have anything like ready. I'm like, what are you gonna put on? I don't know what you're gonna wear. But, so yeah, I was preoccupied with the pictures and everything this morning. And then I came home and 
Uh, I was talking to my husband before he left work and I was like, oh no, I was gonna go to Starbucks. So I looked up, yeah, I don't know if I said this, but I looked up their mobile order and they were sold out of all the holiday drinks, which you have to purchase to get the cup. So I just went to Target like this and since I was already out, I decided not to do my grocery delivery and I went in there, got the stuff and here we are. Cleaning couch cushions. And there's some sort of a charger under there. I guess I should, see you just take the this part off too. It's so bright. So that's how you, oh! That's how you can get a whole nother color. And they're so affordable. So, and then if you spill something on them, you can just easily throw them in the washing machine. So, out of all like the expensive couches, I would have to have one that I could do this to. Especially with kids and, well, even my own self. Oh! I'm sitting in the chair with no cushion. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these cushions off and get them put in the washer. I'm probably gonna spray it with like some Woolite um, stain remover, OxyClean stuff. I think I have two different kinds. I'm just gonna spray it with everything. Third, ugh, like what is that? There's a spot, just some spots I've got. Um, this Woolite, it says pet stain and odor remover plus oxy. I'm sure you can just spray it on whatever. For carpet rugs and upholstery. This is upholstery. <laughs> and this is oxy clean laundry and more stain remover. That's probably gonna be better. I think I have some uh, shout in here. Um, I'm gonna spray this. What is this, the oxy clean? really matter it's a disaster in this area I think I need two washers and two dryers does anyone else think that because I'm always 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 got laundry going and all our hampers are always full so <coughs> I don't like spraying stuff like this what is that? Hmm. I'm just, oh, I've got such a mess going on. I should probably move this. Actually, ugh, this is a shirt I gotta wash again. And it had a stain on it. Manifesting a giant laundry room in my future. I already have it all mapped out. Oh, that would be amazing. With like a big island to throw all my, or just somewhere I could just have clothes piled up and no one can see them. Clean clothes. It takes me forever to get them folded. Okay. I got another um, set to take off and then I'm gonna wash that. <laughs> Actually, I've had it for like two weeks and it's been sitting in my floor. I haven't even opened it yet, but I think I might put some chicken in the crock pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you guys, cause it is so pretty. Um, it's just a pretty crock pot, so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got it at Walmart and it is, um, oh, it says beautiful kitchenware. It's by Drew Barrymore. Is that what it's called? Beautiful kitchenware, I guess? But I thought it was really pretty. It matches my kitchen. It's white with gold trim. I can't believe it's been sitting here so long and I haven't opened it. I need to 
open it. My goodness. Well, I do not know. Oops, that was not smart. Okay, I'm gonna set this on the ground. Oh my goodness. Who knew unboxing a crock pot would be so do <laughs> so difficult? black or a charcoal one too that's really pretty I don't know it won't focus I'll link the crock pot if you want to check it out it, I forgot how much it was well that's weird like a spot on it And this thing was like the lid rest. Isn't that nice? I think it's the same size that I had, eight quart. Inserts on crock pots black. It would be pretty if it was white. Ta da! Show you a closer look. filming a crock pot unboxing mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> and you're screaming <laughs> I'm kind of beating my ship right now can you <laughs> you're interrupting my crock pot unboxing I'm kind of beating my ship right now <laughs> okay gonna turn this way and hopefully not crash my ship again Okay, oh my gosh, yeah. So, oh, the lighting got weird. But this is the crock pot up close. Let me see if I can change the lighting. Okay, this is the crock pot up close. It's so cute. Um, I think I'm just gonna throw some chicken in there and cook it and call it a day. <laughs> of course I have to wash it first and I wanna show you my beautiful roses before they wilt away that my husband brought home to me. They are so Stunning. Ah, oh, this is my favorite color. And they're actually, they, I don't know, they don't seem quite, they don't seem quite white. They have like a tinge of um, pink maybe. They're, they're like almost beige. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. Mmm, the, the longer they sit here open, I, the pinker I can see them turning, but they're so beautiful. I love, 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 love. Roses. All right. <laughs> I've got some stuff in my sink, just a few things, but my dishwasher is full of clean stuff, so it's a whole process that I have to go through. So I'm just gonna scoot the dirty things over <laughs> and wash my crock pot out. It's just like two cups and a uh, colander and a couple things of silverware. It never ends. Yes. 
my Mrs. Myers, um, what is this called? Snowdrop. Come on. My Mrs. Myers snowdrop scent. Okay, I wanted to show you this drink. It is the Alani Energy Drink, and it is the Cherry Slush. Look how cute this packaging is. Adorable. It is so good. That is their best one. I'm obsessed with it. I got a shipment from Abercrombie. I ordered some stuff for the boys. Um, they need a new coat and some new hoodies. and said part of my order is here, so this kind of feels like it could be a coat. So I want to show you the coat, and they got a, they have Abercrombie coats from last year that they got, but I wanted to make sure that um, we got a different style this year. They got like the parka, so it was a little bit more expensive. It was the more expensive one, but I told them, I showed them the pictures and said pick which one you want, and that's what they picked. Um, but they're not getting these for Christmas. I'm just gonna give it, give them to them now. So we'll go ahead and have a new coat and not have to wait. Um, or else I would have ordered the beautiful gift boxes. Oh, I think only one of the boys' coats are in here. A little weird. Oh my gosh, and I got a bigger size. This looks humongous. <gasps> this is, oh no. I wish we had an Abercrombie Kids near us. This thing is too... I mean, oh Lord. I think I could wear this. Look at that, I could wear that. I mean, my. this is for my older son. He got the gray and my other one got the khaki. I'm gonna try this on. Wow. This is a perfect size coat for me. This is ridiculous. Well, I guess if it doesn't fit him, I'll keep it. The sense of fur is removable. But yeah, I mean, this fits me perfect. But the thing is, they love their coats and they wear them all the time. So I was a little worried about this being like just too thick. Not only did I think it looked a bit longer um, in the fit, but it is... I don't know, it's just thick. 
I don't feel like they're gonna like these as much because their other ones have the fur on the inside, which they love this fur. It's so soft, but my gosh, this is a size 13, 14 in boys. So, I mean, it might fit him because we pretty much wear the, can wear the same size now, but that, that was a perfect fit for me. But this does, I can just tell, even though this is bigger size, it just cut longer. What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite time of year. It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true. That's why I cheer. I've been busy decking the halls. I've been kind to big and small. And now it's time to have a merry holiday. What a feeling when it's time for Christmas. Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here I guess that spring and summer, they're all fine But I've been waiting for the season that's mine So let it come, yeah let it come Snowflakes fall, I can hear the sleigh bells call They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol and we'll bring 